Hello, Richard again. Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit more about ChatGPT. We all know that as of today, 2023, February 26, Singapore time zone, ChatGPT is on version 3.5. But uh, the database that they are updated is up to December 2021. But I found there's a Chrome extensions that we can use to integrate into your ChatGPT version 3.5 to let it able to surf the internet as of real time, as of the latest 2023 information. So without any further delay, I'm going to share you what it is. Okay, let's go to the Chrome extensions. Okay, let me go to the Chrome extensions. Okay, I'll go to the Google and I'll type uh, Chrome extension. Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, as you can see, I'm over at the Chrome at the Google, I type Chrome extensions. For those that don't know, uh, you need a Chrome browser in order to install Chrome extensions. So I go to the Chrome web store, I click, I come over here, there's a search the store, and I'll click, I'll type the word web, chat, GPT, okay? So from here, you can see, Okay, there's about three versions. There's a three extensions that's available right now in the market. But I found out that this chat web chat GPT is the one that is most accurate, the one that's more useful at this point of time. So let's click on this. So I already installed these Chrome extensions on my computer, so I can't do it again. But for all of you, all you can all you will see if you want to be removed from Chrome, you will see install the Chrome. And you will see after you click, you will see the pop up here put add the extensions. So you just click add the extensions. So after you add the extensions, what's going to happen is your Chrome, your chat GPT will look like this. That means you have an extra line below the prompt box whereby you can see you have a web access on and off. And the best part, you can decide the result whether it's up to one or up to ten, and it can be any times past day, past years, or any region. So in China, in different countries, so this is based on the internet data. So now your chat GPT is smarter. Okay, so I believe when uh, chat GPT expand, okay, to extend to chat version, chat GPT version 4, version 5, version 6, uh, you will be able to integrate with web access. But as of now, uh, February 26, 2023, chat GPT 3.5 versions is only able to Get the information based on the database of December 2021. So let's do a test. I can easily go to the prompt and say, uh, tell me who is, who are the top 10 singer in the United States, in the United States for year 2022. Okay, so they will prompt you, they say the current date is 26, February 2023. And they will give you the answer. You see, according to the latest information available on the web, they even give you a citation. That means basically you are able to see the latest answer, right? Okay, the latest information that's available just like you are normally doing a Google search. Can you see how powerful it is? That means right now, you get the best of both work. You are using a chat GPT, an AI tools, a digital brain. At the same time, it's not limited. Is not limited to the database on December 2021. So you can also obviously off this web service, web access, and you will still get information, but it may not be able to get the latest data. Okay, let's test this out. Okay, so I'll type the same prompt. Tell me the top 10 signals in the United States. For year 2022. Okay, so let's see whether we get the same answer. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so they're able to come with the same answers or not, you're going to decide for yourself. You can see the first one they put out there. Okay, uh, all the top 10, and then look at the result over here. You can see, okay, it may be slightly different. So the difference in the answers is because uh, the chat GPT, you're using web access, is able to access the internet to get more updated or rather, uh, not really accurate, but more updated information based on the internet. Okay, so because we already installed these uh, Chrome extensions, 
And uh, this Chrome extension is, is powerful. And I want you to understand that uh, whatever that is come up with result from ChatGPT with or without the web access, it may or may not be 100% accurate. So you have to have some, you have to do some due diligence to make sure that you know whether the information is correct or not, right? Because ChatGPT will not be responsible for it. Let's do another test. Okay. Uh, tell me the latest news about Elon Musk. Okay. So you can see over here, if I'm not using web access, they'll say cut off as my knowledge, as my knowledge cut off in this September 2021. Okay, that means it's up to 2021. They will only have the information up to, you can see up to December 2021. This is when you're not using a web access. Can you see the limitation of ChatGPT version 3.5? Okay, can you see how powerful the Chrome extension we have just installed? So now let's open up the web access and type the same prompt. Ask ChatGPT to tell me the latest news about Elon Musk. I'm trying to copy and paste this. Okay, over here. So let's prompt. So now with a web access, let's see what we got here. So let's say the current date. See, now with the web access, ChatGPT is able to give you the latest news based on the web search result. You can see that it's even up to March 1st. Okay, announcements. Okay, they even give you a citation of uh, certain news that is good according to CNN business. You can see the answer that you come out, that churned out from ChatGPT is totally different with or without the web access. So let you go on. Can you see that? Same thing, even with a web access, not all the news in the internet is authentic, is real. So you have to do your own due diligence to make sure that uh, they filter out all the fake news, or the news that is not uh, authentic, it's not real. So you can see the results from here. This is the one that tell me about the latest news. Tell me the latest news about Elon Musk without the web access. You can see it's limited to December 2021. It's quite limited the answer. And once I on the web access here, you can see the results actually come up with the latest updated just like you do a Google search. So the benefit of using a web chat GPT Chrome extension is you got the best of both worlds. You got a Google search, or if you prefer a Bing search and a chat GPT AI tools that work together to give you the best result possible at this point of time with the chat GPT version 3.5. So I hope this is something that you can explore. And to be frank, there's not a lot of people using ChatGPT nowadays. They've been talking about how to make money using ChatGPT. They talk about prompt engineering, which is something that's very important. We'll touch on it in the next topic. Okay, but at the same time, I just want to know this is a lot of people do not know. Actually, you can integrate uh, web access with ChatGPT so that your, your, your result will be the latest. It's not limited to December 2021. Okay, of course, I believe when ChatGPT created the next version, version 4, version 5, version 6, and so on, you'll be able to as if you integrate the web access and beyond. Okay, maybe you'll be integrated with metaverse, uh, blockchain, things like this. Okay, so if as usual, if you think I add value to you and you learn something in this, please leave a comment below. Feel free. I'm still learning, just like all of us. Okay, I'm not a, a thought leader in the chat GPT industry. Uh, I believe nobody is because ChatGPT is just three months old. And as I said, you got the management team of ChatGPT, OpenAI. Uh, nobody is better than anybody, right? We are just one chapter ahead of each other. So we are here to learn. And please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like my channel and you have not subscribed, please consider to like and subscribe. It will help the channel a lot. Okay, as usual, I thank you all of you for your time. And uh, I'll see you in the next video where I will share more about the prompt engineering for ChatGPT. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.